Hi, welcome. Today we're having a look at this, the 3D system sense. It's a handle scanner. Um, it uses a prime sense type of sensor, so you plug this into your computer, or if you get the iSense version, you can actually tap it onto your iPad if you want to. Uh, so we're going to check it out, we're going to unbox it, we'll go through the installation and everything like that. So enjoy the ride! go through the box on the front side here you can see the scanner with its handles and its two cameras and the projector there's not a much around the box other than that so let's pry this open and voila you get a scanning guide so this is really really simple this is how you get started basically uh, not much to do with that so let's put that on the side and then you have units. So here you have the scanner um, with a cool grip, a cool handle. So let's take that out and then the box is empty. Let's put that to the side as well. So the scanner then, it has um, some ports here. Let's remove this protective cover. There we go. So you have actually uh, two cameras here and a projector here. So this is a, an IR projector, so you should be able to pick maybe some patterns up with the camera. We'll, we'll try some tests. You have a cool little logo here. On the top there's not really much. On the back side you have the, the out port for the USB cable. And on the sides there's just logo and logo. And then on the bottom you have actually a quarter, no, three-fourth of an inch, I don't know. A uh, camera connector, basically, so you can put this on a tripod, for example. That's a good grip, a little bit plastic, but it, it gives you what you need. So, um, yeah, let's plug it in and see what, what it can do. So, there we go. All we do is we take the cable and we plug it in, and we're good to go. So, let's go over to the screen here. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to go to Cubify ify.com slash sense so here we're gonna register the device um, so let's go hmm. okay so we need to sign up let's enter the serial number there we go and activate Okay, 57th. It's way off. Next, 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 and next, next. So there we go, we're starting the software. Great. So, we're welcome to Sans, let's see here, let's skip that, there you can see the keyboard shortcuts, but I don't care about that, neither should you, because this is really, really easy. So let's get on scanning. Yeah, so hopefully you can see here, we have a touch screen with the with the things here, so you can scan a person or an object with the scanner. So it's all, that's all plugged in. Um, let's try to scan a person. So let's click on that. I want a head or full body. I'm gonna go with a head, and um, I should hold my sense at least 15 inches. What is that? It's 40 centimeters. So you can see here when I, it's it's difficult to do anything at once here. But as you can see, my arm here. When I go closer to my head, it's actually you can see here now um, it's starting to lose the, the tracking when I go further away it's really good tracking so let's do something like this so press continue um, I'm thinking of scanning something like this 
I'm just gonna scan around my head. I should have untangled the wire first. Something like that should be okay. I have the, some stuff in the background here. So maybe I'll try to do like so. Yeah, I think that's gonna be okay. Yes, yes, as a test, I mean, come on. This isn't perfect. So let's go from one side to another and I have to shut up because otherwise it's gonna scan my mouth. So let's go. I think that's all I can do by myself. So here we are spinning around and erasing some with the built-in tools. And if you want, you can enhance the texture, change the brightness and so on. Uh, but otherwise, <coughs> you can just click save and, and you're ready to go. So with that said, it's time to scan my colleague. So all we really have to do is click, here, click on the head and then we're gonna start scan. Uh, and here we're gonna click start. So you can see here I have the person in frame and now I'm starting to scan. So you can see here how I ask him to turn around instead of me uh, walking around him with the scanner. So unfortunately I have a little bit of low frame rates in the, when recording this. But uh, as you can see on the computer here in this screen it's, it's still pretty okay. So here we go, still scanning the head. Keep on adding the details. So you can see on a computer it's actually really responsive but not at the recording for some reason. So I'm, I'm trying to get at the top of his head and as well as down on his shin. So I'm probably going to move down in just a second here. You can see I'm starting to move down just to make sure that we get everything. Yeah, there we go. Something like that and then we stop. So from here we're stopping the scan, so it creates a model. Uh, this is the finished model, you can turn it around. The, the perspective is a little bit of weird in, in, uh, <laughs> in the Sense software, so I don't know why, but I think all the models look really weird, but then you, when you export it, it's, it's as it should be. Um, so you can remove some stuff if you want to. Uh, again, change the texture for example if you want to do that so you can change the brightness here and, and contrast uh, and then you save the file and uh, then you can go from there and then if you want it's just all you have to do is to uh, restart and you can do everything all over again so now we're gonna do another scan um, this is my colleague Daniel and Philip in the background uh, so here we uh, have him positioned as a racing driver and um, so I'm clicking here start scan and starting to move around I'm trying to, to uh, have a good distance here I, ch I chose the large object uh, not because Daniel is large but yeah it's easier easier so here we're speeding it up and you can see it I move around with the computer so there's no power cable to the to the sense it's just a, a USB cable so here we have the finished scan, uh, there are a lot of lost details, that, but all we really want is his, uh, his shoulders and arms. Um, and it's okay that we don't have anything under his arms, we're supposed to cut like mid-arm. And there you have the model, so you can of course see the color as well. So it's not the best scanner, but it, it's, it's really cheap and really really easy to use. So, so it, it aims for everyone who has really um, you just want to have some scanner to, to, to try out and to, to start off with. Um, so I would actually recommend this scanner for everyone who wants to create a little bit more easy scans than what are used to with their 1 to 3 d design or something similar like that. And if you're a hobbyist I think the price is actually really good. Uh, you can get a 3D printer for almost the same price uh, so you can combine and have a scanner and a printer and, and start doing really cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, if you did please leave a, a thumbs up and of course give me a comment if you have any um, questions or anything about the scanner just let me know. Um, I'm also having a, a Patreon site so if you want to support this kind of content, I'm doing this on my spare time, uh, just head over there and you can see the types of rewards and, and everything like that if you want to, uh, link is in the description. Otherwise than that, um, I hope you subscribe and, and, and because I have some few movies coming out pretty soon. Thank you. Bye.